what's going on y'all what it is so let's go ahead and slide on these topics and the first topic i want to discuss is this situation that went down between dj vlad and marlon wayans so a couple of days ago vlad got in his feelings because marlon basically required forty thousand dollars to do a sit down interview and 30 percent on top of that so vlad basically is playing on marlon's name and called him out and said yo you're not even worth all of that you know basically saying that marlon is washed up and things like that and the showdown between both of them went down on twitter for the whole wide world to see so guys listen i'm gonna read you some of their back and forth banter and it goes a little something like this so vlad kicks it off and says marlon wayans found someone with 200 followers to agree with him lol nobody on earth is going to pay marlon 40k for an interview when he gets 100 to 300k views on any platform he interviews on this guy is really delusional then marlon responds and says see i tried to tell him i was giving him a deal oh well you mad you unprofessional my guy if you don't like the number keep it moving you look bad you should fall back mad at a black man stating his number and now you go public and use your platform to try to drag me then vlad says not mad at all i find all of this amusing because you really think you're worth 40k for an interview i said there's nobody on earth that will pay you that and I have yet to be proven wrong. Throwing out a stupid A number for an interview is unprofessional, my guy, because your interviews don't even make 5% of that on every platform you do. And bringing up race when there was no mention of it throughout all of our discussion shows how weak of a man you really are. Even a million views is about 5K, nowhere near the 40K he asked for, and he wanted 30% on top of the 40K, like I said, delusional. Then Marlon responds and says, so yes, this has become about race. You trying to turn us into crabs in a barrel. I see your angle now. I watched you play your hand. You want us to talk s beef and tear each other down while you sit back and make money meanwhile you don't even show your face so vlad responds and says not only do i show my face but when i do interviews on the same platform as you more than twice as many people watch here are the actual views when we did the breakfast club one month apart you reached your peak 20 years ago and have been on a decline ever since there's nothing wrong with that but you seem to think that it's still 2004 I've been dropping facts with actual numbers this entire time and all you can do is play the lame a race card in response so keep looking in the mirror and lying to yourself about who you think you are the numbers don't back it up and as you can see vlad posted the numbers that he did during an interview on the breakfast club which came to 764,000 views 10 months ago and he posted marlin's interview with the breakfast club that garnered 291k views nine months ago then marlin says see vlad this is the moment you've been begging for i asked you to leave me alone and let it go but you want to kick a bee's nest you can't compete with me bro i am legend and occasionally i come off the throne to spar with peons like you keep going there's levels to this s i see why you don't show your face it's ugly that ugly a beard s don't look real you look like you're in disguise s look like you're gonna take it on off like some mr potato head s you a culture vulture we all know this and i will tell my people don't f with you period you feed off dividing and exploiting black people and artists you are divisive and bad for our community then vlad responds and says marlon wayans i'm sorry that you don't find me attractive fortunately for the both of us i'm hetero between your recent gay photo shoot and your claim to fame dressing up as a woman this would be the perfect time to fully come out of the closet coming out as gay in 2024 will surely revive your declining acting career and since i turned down your 40k offer for an interview i'm pretty sure you can get that amount for your first corn scene and i'm paraphrasing there you guys can read what it says marlon gaines would be an awesome corn name by the way and i'm paraphrasing again then marlon says is any of that funny though so now you exploit blacks and punch down gays tsk tsk i don't know what that means you want to be hated by everyone i see vlad nobody wants you your own blank won't let you touch it it me too to you then marlon says here's why your platform is beneath me i am legend bro and that's just the beginning and so marlon pointed out the fact that all of his movies have grossed over a billion dollars at the box office which is absolute facts and just to be clear we're talking about all of marlon's movies that he's done combined they have grossed over a billion dollars then marlon posts a picture of vlad and says hey dj vlad how do you go from this to this so if you compare both of the pictures marlon is insinuating that vlad has some type of hair transplant then marlon goes on to say hey vlad my entire community is allergic to you you gluten a mofo hey vlad you're way too hated by the urban community to f with me i'm loved you ain't watch the video where's your face you couldn't exploit me how much the government paying you brody hope it's at least 40k all right so you guys heard the gist of the back and forth banter that went on between vlad and marlon on twitter and vlad tried to cook him he did but marlon fried him when he said yo your own thing won't let you touch it it me to you that was a devastating bar right there 
a devastating bar. Now, what I've noticed for years now that Vlad is an emotional prick, right? He couldn't stand the fact that Marlon was getting the best of him, talking about his looks and things of that nature. And then he decided to insult Marlon for taking pictures that supported the LBGTQ community. And what Vlad didn't understand there is the fact that you're trying to disrespect Marlon and say that he's a part of the community, not knowing that Marlon actually took those photos, not knowing that Marlon took those pictures to support his TRANS child. He has a TRANS child, and that is why Marlon decided to take those pictures to support his child. So in my estimation, not only did you disrespect Marlon, you disrespected his child in the process, all because Marlon talked about your looks and you couldn't take the heat. And so listen, this is the thing. It seems as though that Vlad has nine lives because people within our community, within the entertainment business keeps going on his show. They won't stop. They can't stop. They're like Diddy when it comes to Vlad TV. And another thing that's disrespectful is that Vlad had the nerve to try to tell a melanated man what he's worth. Like the nerve of you, man. You trying to tell this brother what he's worth. You know, you're trying to use analytics against a man that knows what he's worth. He's been in the business for quite some time and Marlon is a legend. He's a legend and you have to respect his top. You know, this is a prime example when a melanated man or woman tell a YT person what their price is, they can't take it. The devil inside of them gets so agitated that you would even have the nerve to set a price because they feel like they should be in control and be in charge of what they actually pay you. But anyway, let's switch gears and I want to talk about what transpired between a young activist from Chicago by the name of Jamal Green and Roland Martin at the DNC pre-convention this weekend, this past weekend rather. And so basically, Roland proceeded to insult Jamal because he had questions about Kamala's economic proposal when she was in Raleigh, North Carolina. So Kamala said that she's going to work towards a plan when she's president that anybody that is a first time home buyer would get a $25,000 down payment assistance, right? You would get $25,000 down to help with you buying a home basically. And so this is the thing. She didn't say that during her speech in Raleigh, North Carolina a few days back, but online it's been confirmed that the caveat is, is that you've had to have paid your rent on time for two years before you get that type of assistance. So basically Jamal Green took the Twitter and he said this about Kamala's plan. Since Roland Martin think he's smarter than everybody, tell him to read the fine print. First time homeowners got to pay the rent for two years and then go into a bank who typically redlines them while first generation homeowners get generous support. This is not a plan for black people. It's a plan for immigrants who have children here. Let's be for real. So Roland goes on to his show and calls this man dumb because he has an opinion about Kamala Harris economic plan, right? And so over the weekend, Roland is in Chicago. Of course, that's where Jamal is from. And so he runs into Roland and he tries to confront Roland respectfully at first. Now, I'm about to try to play you guys a video. I don't know if it's going to get flagged, but I do know that Tariq Nasheed says that Roland flagged when he tried to play the video on his YouTube channel. He flagged it. And so if you don't see it here, you can go to my Instagram at Carolina Crush TV and see the interaction between Roland and Jamal. Yesterday, you tweeted about me. Wait, 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 wait. You tweeted, you called me dumb Jamal. yesterday, right? First of all, don't you call me dumb. You call me dumb. Say what you got to say right now. Say what you got to say. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. People need to know the real narrative and the facts. Number one, Roland Martin is the aggressor here. He came after me publicly. He was paid to do so. I was on Twitter talking about how we need to be critical of these campaigns and make sure that we get policies so that when whoever become president, they don't forget about us. Roland Martin called me stupid, dumb, an idiot, and a fool on his show. I never tweeted at Roland Martin. I never talked about Roland Martin at all. He came to my Twitter page quoting my tweets to call me stupid. And then he did a show about me and he called me a fool. Now, what I did was I went to an event that he was at today. And I went to ask for a conversation. My arms was folded. I was not being aggressive. 
And he kept pushing it off, kept trying to leave and not have a conversation with me. And you saw what happened on this video. This, guys, we cannot stand for. We cannot stand for voices to continue to be stumped on because they don't agree with you. I don't have to agree with Roland Martin to be smart. I can have my own views. I'm a grown man. And there is no reason why this man twice his age should be publicly calling me stupid, dumb and a fool. But when I approach him in public, he has nothing to say to me. You got to do better. And we got to do better to stop supporting these guys who are disrespecting the voices who are doing the actual work. All right. So you guys just saw that. And I'm not going to lie. I'm chuckling a little bit because Roland looked shook. He looked so shook. I mean, he looked terrified when this young man stepped to him and he stepped to him respectfully. But I think that the young man got upset because he tried to shun him to the side like he wasn't important after you just called this man out of his name on your platform, out of his name on his platform. And so, listen, a lot of people are saying that this man, this young man and Jamal should respect his elders. And I understand that to a certain degree. But when you start name calling, Jamal has every right to check Roland on what he said about him. And Jamal has every right to criticize Kamala and her policies if he doesn't agree with him. Jamal has done nothing wrong but exercise his free speech without calling Roland Martin or Kamala a name. He's not disrespecting Kamala. He just had a question. And that's his right. Listen, I'm telling you, it doesn't pay to be a puppet or one of these internet keyboard gangsters. And then when you run into somebody that you talked about negatively, you can't handle yourself because you can't all of a sudden become spooked once you're confronted by a person that you've been talking junk about when you didn't have that same energy when you were talking junk about them in private you were pretty happy and pretty confident in what you were doing but anyway i'm gonna draw the line here i want you guys to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about everything i discussed within this video don't forget to like comment share and if you're new here consider subbing to the channel and i'll get with you guys later peace